ተዛዛዘምና እና ንኸይ ዘለና ማለት ነው። ስለዚህ ሕጅ ሀብትና የመጨረሻ ዘሎ አብቲ አጀንዳ ትሪ ወዘለኹም ናይ መጨረሻ መግለጽ ይተበና ሀፍትና ዶክተር አስቴር ዓለም ሰገድ ሀፍትና ዓለም አስቴር አብሲያል ዋሽንግተን ያጥቀመት ናታ ሀስፔሻሊስት ይሃ ኪድኒ ስፔሻሊስት ያ ትምርታ አብ ዩኒቨርሲቲ ኦፍ ዋሽንግተን አብ ወዲያ ኮሞሃ ማስተርስ ኢን ፓብሊክ ሄልዝ ናይ ሜዲካል ዲግሪ ኻ አብ ያል ዩኒቨርሲቲ ስለዚ ሕጃ አብት ናይ አብ ናይ ኤሪፒስ ኻ አብ ናይ ሄልዝ ኢን ሶሻል ሰርቪሴስ ዘላ ፎካስ ግሩባ አብ ተብ ስለዚ በዛባ ኮቪድ አዊ አብ ኤርትራ ከመዩ ኮሞሃ በዛባ ኮቫክስ ዘብለናሞ ሐፍትና ዶክተር አስቴር ዓለም ሰገድ I think they saved the, the best for the last. Thank you everyone. Um before I start talking about uh COVID, I wanted to tell you a story, a true story. So, it was a uh routine work day the end of February 2020. Although it was not quite a routine day for me. one of my long time patients had just died that afternoon in the icu at the local hospital where i work i was on my way home late that night when i received a phone call from one of my, one of my colleagues a hospital uh, physician and he told me that the covid test done on that patient earlier that day had come back positive i was in shock how is it possible the patient never traveled abroad the patient never been to wuhan china and he was not in the healthcare field my mind was racing with many questions oh wait what about me my family my colleagues my friends my exposure to this patient because at the time none of us were wearing the appropriate ppe and we had taken care of this patient for a week long before he passed away so i went home and entered my home through a separate entrance and placed myself in isolation until the next morning where i could talk to public health officials to guide me what to do this was to become the first patient to die of covid-19 in the us The next day was a second patient same hospital Seattle suburb of Seattle and he was the second patient to die of covid-19 rapidly we learn about quarantine tracing of contacts testing for this deadly illness for which we had no treatment testing was very limited unless you have symptoms there was a lot of anxiety individuals infected grew rapidly from a handful to hundreds to thousands in a matter of weeks various degrees of shutdown in the us as well as in different parts of the country i mean in the world were in effect now fast forward to december 2020 and to present time now we have diagnostic testing for covid-19 screening tests is now rapid testing if you want to travel you can go and get the same test the same day fda approved remdesivir which is the treatment for covid-19 which is given in the hospital or emergency room we didn't have that then fda approved emergency use authorization of three vaccines moderna pfizer and j&j FDA recognized the gravity of the current public health emergency. Other vaccines are now in use, AstraZeneca and other vaccines manufactured in China as well as in Russia. COVID-19 was announced to be a pandemic as we all know it. As of first week of August 2021 this year, there's been over 202 million affected by COVID-19. 
In the US alone, 36.5 million. Over 4.3 million have died because of COVID-19. In the US, over 630,000 have died because of COVID-19. We are now seeing worrisome trend of increased infection rates among those unvaccinated and children, which, which appear to be predominantly due to the Delta virus or Delta variant. The universal global response of face covering, social distancing, and lockdowns has mitigated the spread temporarily, but when these measures are lifted or ignored, the outbreak quickly resumes. We have seen that in the US as we are currently seeing that, as well as many parts of Europe and Africa. It has become very clear that global vaccination is the only effective strategy to control transmission of this virus. The faster we vaccinate, the sooner we can control and the less virus variants. Since the, trans since the first administration of COVID-19 vaccine in the UK early December, we now see COVID-19 vaccination has been effective in slowing the rate of transmission. Globally, over 4.5 billion doses of COVID-19 vaccine has been administered. 38.5 million are being administered daily. In the US alone, over 350 million doses have been given. Over 50% of the population has been vaccinated. Now I'm gonna talk about COVAX. COVAX, so previously known as COVID-19 Vaccine Global Access Facility. It was established in early 2020 by WHO. It was created in response to concerns of middle and low income countries that may have not otherwise had access to vaccine. Countries that sign on onto the COVAX will get, would, have, would get access to vaccines by purchasing at competitive uh, prices globally, giving all countries access to vaccines and the ability to negotiate based on population. COVAX is co-led by Gavi, CEPI, which are international organizations, and WHO. More than 180 countries are involved in this. Initially, it was intended to have 50% of the global population enrolled in this, but now over 90% has been enrolled in this program. Of those, 92 countries are of low to mid-income um, countries. And these programs are handled through a separate COVAX arm because they cannot afford to compete in the competitive market of um, uh, where the wealthy countries are uh, buying and obviously stashing away for their uh, populations. So the COVAX program for these low income is based on donations, both monetary as well as actual vaccinations, vaccines. Uh, collected from Western countries, as well as corporations such as Pfizer, as we all hear it on the news. So COVAX, by, at the, by the end of 2021, they hope to deliver 520 million doses to Africa. The Africa Center for Disease Control, which is the CDC of Africa, they say that Africa so far has received more than 103 million vaccine doses and of which 70% has been already administered. Near 12 million doses have arrived in Africa this, uh, this past month in July, which is significantly higher than the prior month. So a lot of vaccines have been donated. Some African countries were initially reluctant but they quickly realized vaccination against COVID-19 is an urgent public health measure. Where is Eritrea on this? Go back one more. Okay, so Eritrea, PPE failed, hand hygiene failed adequate testing and tracing failed, 
access to vaccine failed, failed, failed. So I'll go through that. So most of you recall in March of 2020, more than a year ago, the first plane load of protective and medical equipment was donated to Africa by Chinese billionaire Jack Ma. And the supply arrived in Addis Ababa. The flight carried 5.5 million face masks, kits for 1 million detection tests, 40,000 sets of protective clothing, 60,000 sets of protective uh, face shields. Donations was to be distributed to 54 countries in Africa. All countries in Africa, except for Eritrea, accepted the donation. No clear reason given by the Eritrean government. A second shipment of ventilators and other equipment similarly never reached Eritrea. Mind you, around the same time, China donated a thousand ventilators to New York State here in the US and the New York governor graciously accepted. Hand hygiene, Eritrea is considered one of the worst in the world for access to fresh water safe, to fresh safe water. There's water crisis in Eritrea. There's no running water most of the time, even in urban areas. About 85% of the country's population uses poor sanitation facilities. So how can one in enforce strict hand hygiene when water is scarce? Testing. Testing is not readily available. In fact, there's a new trend in Eritrea where deaths are attributed to dengue fever or quote, pneumonia, when in fact, these individuals have symptoms suggestive of COVID-19 and many are dying of COVID-19. Some individuals have themselves opted not to be tested for COVID-19 because of fear of being isolated from family and taken away in isolation where no one knows where you are, especially when you die. They bury you, your family doesn't get to bury you. Many of our members, Arabs members, have had close relatives or neighbors who died or were ill because of COVID-19, yet the official reports do not reflect the real story. Many cases are, are likely unreported and inadequately traced. To date, there's only 36 deaths reported in Eritrea. Do not need to remind you that a household in Eritrea consists of three or more people sharing a room and several families live in one compound sharing running water, restroom, courtyard, where cooking and socializing takes place in communal. Contract, uh, contact tracing is inadequate. Genomic sequencing, not done. So genomic sequencing, this allows scientists to identify SARS-CoV-2 and monitoring how it changes over time into new variants. Thereby we understand how these changes affect the characteristics of the virus. Some variant viruses are a particular concern because they spread more easily and they cause more severe disease and potentially escape the body's immune response. So going back to my story I told you earlier, I tested negative, fortunately a few days later, but back then we're talking about 18 months ago, there was not very much information. There was not a whole lot of tests. There was no treatment. Now, 18 months now, Eritrea is in the same position as I was, which is every doctor, every nurse that's taking care of a patient, they, have, they don't have adequate PPE. They don't have enough testing. And I was worried that I might test positive and my, my health, my life was on the line. And so was my family and other patients and other co coworkers. And if you remember on the news, there's a lot, there were a lot of nurses and doctors 
both in the US as well as elsewhere that have died because of COVID-19. Simply by, for, for taking care of patients they didn't know that were positive. So this is what's, what Eritrean healthcare workers and the defense, our defense, our military, everyone is faced with the same situation I was faced. So let's talk about lockdown. Lockdown without an end in sight for one year. Lockdown began April 1st, 2020. This is in Eritrea. Initially, it was very effective in slowing the transmission, but this lockdown went too long with, without an end in sight. April 2021, the government relaxed lockdown, restriction, opened schools, resumed commercial flight, public transportation. Lockdown was disregarded when it came to the Eritrean Defense Forces who continue to be involved in war in neighboring country, Ethiopia, without vaccination against COVID-19 or appropriate PPE. So this is a, something I came across. Oh, actually there's one before it. So I'll just read it. If you don't test, you don't find. And if you don't test, you are blinded. If you don't test, you are not ahead of the curve. This was a statement made by the director of the Africa CDC, John Nikasung. And this was in the, published uh, in the um, media. And this is another one. The director, the same person, the director of African uh, CDC. He wasn't sure why Eritrea is not taking vaccine, but we continue to engage them. We leave no country behind. This is just most recently. So COVID-19 vaccine, Eritrea has not signed up for COVAX. The majority of African countries signed up. So a few months ago, there were three countries that didn't sign up for, COVID, for COVAX program. And now it leaves only Eritrea. So Tanzania and Burundi were the two other countries. Tanzania already has received their first uh, delivery. Burundi has opened up, although they said we will open it, have it available, but they, don't, they won't necessarily go advocate for it. But at least they will have it available. Eritrea has not signed up. So the Eritrean government has reported more than 6,500 confirmed cases in June alone this two months ago, the number of new cases were 1,015, which is twice the amount, twice the number of cases that were reported in the prior month. This only, at least whatever is reported, we know the numbers are increasing. So you can quadruple that or you know 10 times more because as most of you have uh, hear from family and friends, there's a lot of people getting sick and dying from COVID-19. So the Eritrean government has shown negligence towards its citizens at various levels. The evidence demonstrates without a shadow of a doubt that the Eritrean government has failed its citizens in its fundamental duty, protecting it from catastrophic danger. While all countries are taking unprecedented measures to expand their ability to care for our current and anticipated COVID-19 cases, not to mention other health uh, urgent health care needs, Eritrea has failed to outline and communicate its public health emergency preparedness and response towards COVID-19 pandemic, fails to collaborate with global community with respect to the pandemic, fails to provide PPE and vaccines. As long as the virus keeps encountering lots of new hosts, it can continue to mutate and at some point it is possible that variants will develop that can evade all existing vaccines. So far, all the vaccines that we have available here in the US protect us against Delta virus. But if we, if we continue to have the virus circulating, potentially we'll have new, vi new variants come. None of us is safe until we are all safe.
So what is Arabs doing, RAPS? RAPS, as well as many health professionals in the diaspora, are educating the community here in the diaspora about COVID-19, precautions, prevention, vaccination, all of the stuff that we all have been um, hearing in the media, educate about the safety and efficacy of COVID-19. And members of Arabs, specifically the health and social um, services, which I'm a member of, has been educating Eritreans via the media about COVAX and advocating for Eritrean government to participate in the COVAX program and apply. And this has been done through panel discussions, live streaming through Facebook, as well as through other media. And we just completed a one month long uh, Twitter campaign last month. And thank you for all the Arabs members and everyone that has participated. It was a very successful and we hope to see an, a result. So in summary, Oh, before I just have, um, I will read just to give you examples of some of the Twitter um, that we have had. We've had, imagine we've had daily, sometimes we've had a couple of tweets going. So this pandemic is being fought on a global scale. Eritrea deserves access to protective devices, tests, and vaccines. As a member of the world community, Eritrea deserves access to the same tools that everyone needs to look after their citizens. The Eritrean government must work with COVAX to save Eritrean lives. Ensuring safety of its people is the priority of any government. Thus, we should all turn on the Eritrean government to, co to work with COVAX and get access to vaccines, PPE, diagnostic kits, and therapeutics. So these are a stack of the um, tweets, but you can imagine we've been working very hard. We've had not only the healthcare services, we've had the media focus groups help us and many have helped us and we are very grateful for that. So in summary, vaccines are a technology that humanity has often relied on in the past to bring down the death toll of infectious diseases. Eritreans historically have been very receptive and thanks to the healthcare workers working diligently in Eritrea over the years, routine childhood vaccination or immunization have been very efficient system and the public has been very receptive. The infrastructure is there for vaccination and has worked very well in the past to deliver childhood immunization. Granted, mass vaccination needs more training and more manpower and these needs can be met through the COVAX program. If so, why are we talking about COVID-19 vaccine? Because it's all about national security. Eritrea is the only country in Africa who has not provided COVID-19 vaccine to its citizens. Just like war, COVID-19 can wipe out a town, a city, a generation. Unless we have a mitigation plan, this could have serious consequences for generations to come. This could lead to deterioration of the economy from the existing substance, subsistence level, especially farming. More famine, increased fetal mortality, delay in education in, in school age children, worsen living condition. Eritrea, the only country in the world whose leader is not stepping up to the plate. Given these facts, what is our responsibility? Under these conditions of irresponsible governance, I would focus on what each Eritrean can do. So let's talk about inside the country. Eritreans inside the country should understand the consequences of COVID-19. Therefore, take precautions, wear masks, and limit um, groupings. And this all obviously given the limitations of um, water or access to water, um, try to keep hand hygiene as to the best of their ability. And more importantly, try their best to push the government to take appropriate public safety measures. What about us here in the diaspora? Through, advo through advocacy groups, which is what we are doing right now, continue to push the government to make vaccine 
COVID-19 vaccine available. Reach out to our fellow citizens in Eritrea and help them as much as you, you can or they can by educating them that COVID is very serious and may have long-term com complications. The vaccine is safe and extremely effective in preventing serious illness and death. The co current COVID-19 Delta strain circulating throughout the world is highly transmissible, but current three vaccines, Moderna, Pfizer, and J&J, approved in the US are highly effective against Delta variant. As long as people are getting infected, new variants will appear. COVID-19, a global problem. COVAX, a global solution. Thank you very much. I, I also would like to thank my COVAX team, which consists of Dr. Aida Tesfamariam. If I call your name, please stand up. Dr. Aida Tesfamariam. Dr. Elsa Tehle, who's not here. Dr. Habta Abfisaha. Dr. Habtom Habte. Dr. Heikel Nagash, who's not here. Dr. Johannes Heile. Dr. Emmanuel Johannes. And Dr. Asafau Takaste. Thank you very much. She and Elna have Dr. Astier. Dr. Astier, what hold the Taihonan? So let's have a program now that I'll be busy on the other and I'll tell you about it. With a girl, my lady had a sad don't get a gym here now. Dr. Awad, I want to know. The Benjahan Canada hit Kahun Gerel Naha. Oh, Celezi Haji, no Dalena Malatu. A Brizio Haji, I'm not much Arish Hats are Gena with Dana and Alena and with Dalena Ely. Doctor Desalin Hats are Haberet Alato, the Vana. What? The Rio after concluding remarks, now Tina Malatu. Thanks, Emma. Just great job. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Astier and her team uh, for your hard work, for taking the lead. Uh, great job. Thank you so much. So um, what I want to say is, I will, it's like uh, this is related to the G13. Uh, there is a book written by uh, uh, Stephanie Evans uh, Stegel. She's from Australia. Actually, she was planning to come but she didn't make it. Uh, the title of the book, it says, The, er the Eritrean Letter Writers, uh, Dear Mr. President. So the book is online, you can get it. Uh, also, we're gonna post it on our website, erypiers.com. So thank you. Kamuha Hats Armat Hasasabit, Doctor Araya Devasai, Professor Araya Devasai Lato, Kabhara de Ikhain Wahanilunni Laka. Well, this was an idea planted in me by Dr. Aotner. He told me, you are the most senior person in this whole workshop. And that is, I think, true. Is there anybody who can compete with me? I don't think so. And so on behalf of every one of us here, I'd like to really express our deep appreciation to the leadership of ERIPS, 
And also for all of you who have come, particularly those who have come from long distances to enrich this workshop through your experiences and the exchange of ideas. So please, let's give the Erebus leadership a big <laughs> ناغيرنا <laughs> Selezi, a Macharisha, in time Juanu, Kungalitina, Gunhauna, Jonas, Nabzimadra, Dumoemo, Zabahara had a Tomokrota as a low Nagranai. Salam, come you welcome. Come you welcome, but when I set a home, Miss Lenny. Come you welcome. I'm Lahamis and Sbo in Lamis Lenny, Tomokro Kafel and Nams Velasi. Can I the most respected Nayadma uh, Balzaga, Professor Arab Sani Hussi, in the Suta Mokro, a Kafla number, Sahad Anti Tomokro, the Kafla Nahi to Nomadate, the Hani Hulu Almutamokro law, is in the Zarabuluts and Hanak Zarab has a pun up to schedule Naira Homon Kimti up to its roofs at Haifzello, Tailna, Arbata Habetia Satalina. Teristha, Sagat Atanan, Budot Atan, Timasil. Nazi democracy house at Amitka, Lavirtra, Taramurat, and Taikmasil Kalalo. Come on, Abnan Hedam Timan Hilona, and Taikin Gabral Lena. A regatin, Salaman of Zobana, of Hagarnan Kilu, Taramurat and Taikmasilalo. Zul, Aristilla, Taramurat Sutra Hakon, and Ginzungazi Faristi, Blue Maltes, Bosalit and Alena. Kalot Kabz, the Muratan, the Samoyan Kserhuzulu, Hasabat Kamzelu, it's okay. And fell it in Amadati. Haji Eripes come Institute, Sir Hosel Lasrahat, a focus group to Maharila, but fields of expertise, Nitom, professionals and scholars, Ayota Tayala Haji, while at Majamaya, Eripes come Hasab. مجمر حساب نيرا دهاري انستيتوت كوينا لومي ابز بصحنا لنا صبح خا فوركاست نغبرو اب نغر اب تهاجر استقم نغر كتغبريا يلنا اب تصبيت كم زلنا يا امن مالتي حجي انت يا تا تمكرو خا لكم زبلكم زحلف عمت ابزي ورحي ميازيا قمون ورحي حمله كل تغزينا بافريكا خيدا نيرا ناب حنتني افريكا هاجر تهاجر تي ا كابزنا هنا زحلفنا يو وين حلفو زلنا كبيد كونتات نل علي نایب حق نل علیز حلفت کابتی که معاینت نوت سخت نگفون نوی حامد هات زیگ برد تحت اسران حموشان اسران شدیشان حامد روان داد بالاگ روان داد کل هم کم تفلتو کابش هند سعات میتن سبعان سلستن سکابتی سعان هربعتن کبابی زمر حزن نبر حدول کملا خنیرو نتوم تاریخ تفلتو تاش مخی جبر کم گن وق حد حد نیروام کابش هند سعات میتن تسعان هربعتن أبوش تسأل السرعة ورح زي ملة لع لحد مليون سب ميتو تحريدو تقتيلو أكمز عن السبب بعد نتزح حلفون كوتس وصل الزدليو غير ماكم لك يدقمي مثلا نخمزة عشمو ريفيجيس كمز خمانة ريفيجيس يوم RPF رواندا باتريوتيك فرونت بحالو أبرو أب يوغندا بوحدات سبات حنتي متخاب جروب جيروم نها جيروم حراخو تسوا إذا كعام حج بريزيدنت خوينه زلو كام أمريكا يقيدو فاست فورورد نتهاجر تيا شان شيء عتمي تنتي عن سلست مثلا نت متشرشة بريزيدنت ناي تهاجر نتوم ناي ناي بحصوت ناي عركي قال لما لما فرام جيروم نتوم أر بي إف دبحلو سراويت أكيبو نتوم زوج أوش تهاجر ما بكي قالي أبت بارلمان تأكيبو 
نعوم ابت بارلمان توشت ابت بيولدينغ بس حزه ات جينوسايد او يزيو ابت 9 ان 4 او وشت زن زبلكم زل هو ثلاثه اربعه ورح يملى لعل حدا مليون سب حال يقوم مالتي حجي ازوم ابتي بارلمان تعبيت ام زنبرو سبات نتا هاجرتي انا صاحو صوا كله زكالهم كفيلهم شدي شميت سبات نتنا هاجر سراويت مولو بعلامه نمدحانهم نمدحان حزبهم سلا زخونه مسوات تخفيلهم هاجراو صيو كابش انت شعات 294 95 انت نوص قله سغاب حجي اسران قلن عمد رواندا لو مخيدكم تاريخهما ام تيلينج يو فور شور ازيا افريقيا ايلو انت زي نجيركم او وشت كي قال خوف تبيلكم سب يو وود اسيوم يو ار ان يو اس اور يوروب اتس بيوتيفول كلين اميديتلي نام تايم تسا يغيروا مسيلكم ناب ريبيلدينغ ذا ايكونومي ريبيلدينغ ذا انفراستراكشر ريكونسيليشن ابن نفس وكف غودناتات نايكي غالي سرغي الله كم زنا يا حز حز عقب انقول كل اب نفس وكف انغولو صرغي الله ولا تسرح اندي تسرح ات صرغي زي بلوخا كوبل ستون غيروم سريحم كم يغيرو يغوش تخ اند زعمتات كند زغبر مخا اب افريكا تبل ات كوبل ستون ماني سريح هو ويلكم صحتت قسي اتوم بت جينوسايد تخسسو اسورات كحسانه تهزبي كاب تسبيت انداوصو نسوم يوم نت كوبل ستون انصي فمو بتي نت زغبر هو غبن كحسانه تهزبي خون بت خانه توم اسورات سويل كاداوين كام عدمي اومن غلن كاب تقاصل انت واحد يمك دم يوسفول مالتي كم حدا وصاتنيا كي ديلكا اب كي قال اتو يلكا ار دي بي اس بحال بيلدينغ قالو رواندان ديفلوبمنت بورد مالتي ولا حنت زيت فلت يو جست واكين ذير ار ميني ديبارتمنتس دير نسخا انفستر ديها كتري ديها مسي ها تفلت كتمهار وات از يور انترست اف يور انترستد ان اغريكالتشر ذير يو هاف ات in agriculture department abulla if you're interested in tourism you have it if you're interested in manufacturing you have it there and they are very happy to serve you you're not going to wait they will tell you exactly what the market looks like what the country is looking for what the government's incentive toward this your thoughts or your project and they welcome new ideas license thoughts business license it will take you 2 hours and you only pay 5 dollar 2 hours rdb within that building you want to have a bank account you have it bank of kigali right there you only need a passport period and of course exposure so lezelo how western khid had had nice rah akfat atri galmele ezi asi ba dongi khumna khamzi how can we make it better they ask you and i have heard it not once not twice many times nahna khabzit how wah gel mele gelis lezle medna hey come on guys tell us how can we make it better the willingness to fix to grow and this i'm talking about dihri hagero maharam sigeberu zigeberu woyu dahar tahatit kam yigeru kham zikhawun ila mis hada netom even the minister you want to talk to them they are happy to talk to you they are not untouchable ainat there is a museum that you can go in the president's office and you can visit it anytime shu khamayum smalka immediately after that liberating their country they invite all intellectuals scholars and kame gernaina kab zin khayit kame gernaina mengedd no wts road map na nhintsits policy ta na khamayna نغبرو ايلوم نمورات ندامصو اب تبقى عذاب زي بلو ساعاتات دما نتوم ولا ناي دغ تموكروتات ندخدو سغاباب ايرترا متيوم تموكرو سيدوم زبل علال سمي اي مالتي اب تي زي فلطو نخفلطو قرباتيو اب نفس وكف اوفيسات نايشتو من اسياتي خاترك كابايزن اسيوم زرخبوم نيران نبمولو نتي ايديوكيشن سيستم كفيتو تاريخهم نخفلطو تسمبرات ناي مفللا انتاي كم زمسل نخردو دما موزيمات حالو سو نمهرات عدي مخم زغيرو ام تيلينغ يو ذن اي فيل براود ام غلاد اي ام بارت اوف اي ري بي اس ام تيلينغ يو اي ام غلاد اي ام بارت اوف اي ري بي اس ذا ريزن از اي ري بي اس 
ሀገር حرام ስኮነት ወይ ኢሲያስ ምስወደቀ አይኮነት እንዚህ ትገብሩ ዘላ አቀዲማ ከምታ አንተ ወይ አም ተውዝብልኩኹም ኤሪፒኤስ መጀመሪያ ሐሳብ ይኑ ኩልኹም አብትዝ ጀመር ከለና እዚ ነበርኩም ትፈልጡ ይሁን ካብ ሐሳብ ናብ ኢንስቲትዩት ካብ ኢንስቲትዩት ናከም ዝዝበለ ግሩም ወርክሾፕ ካከም ዘአይነት ግሩም ወርክሾፓት ተደጋገምት ድማ ጽባሐንጎ ከምዚ አብ ኪጋለ ዝራናዮ ዘይኮነስ ንሙሉ አፍሪካ አብነት ክኸውን ዝኽእል ብዙሕ ተአምራት ክንገብር ከም ንኽእል ይራአየን ማለት ይኸምዚ ዓይነት ብሶላተን ምሁራተን ሰባት ሒስካ ከምዚ ብጻሕ ተራሒዛም ስለዚህ እንታ ይኽብል ደለ አብቲ ውጽኢቱ ኸይራ ኸይወት መጀመሪያ ፓዝል ሆነ ካይ ዋላ እዚ ወርክሾፕ ከምዚ ኽትሪኦ ወራይ ጥዑም ባ ከምዚ ሰመጪ ጽቡቅ ገለ ማለት ትብል ካብ ተሓሳብ ጀሚርካ አብዚ ንኽትበጽሕ ዝሓለፍና የመገድታት ጥቶም ዝነበርኩም ትፈልጡ ማለት ስለዚህ አብቲ ንደሌ ቦታ ንኽንበጽሕ ጽባሕ ንጎ ፖለቲካል ሊደርሺፕ ጥራሕ ኾነ ዘትሌና ፖለቲካል ሊደርሺፕ ቋም ክትከላሎ ንብል ገለ ንብል ሊና ግን ፖለቲካው ሃጓፍ ጥራሕ ኾነ ዘሎ ሃገርና ኩልን ኢንስቲትዩት ቅርጽ የብለን ናይ ሰራራሓ መንገዲ ወይ ፖሊሲ የብለን ብፍቃድ ወልቀ ሰባት ቡዋኒን ወልቀ ሰባት ይዩዝካይድ ስለዚህ አቀድምና አቀድምና ከምዚ ተራኺብና ያዘለና ከምዚ አይነት ምትእኽኻባት ኩልኹም ከምዚ ኤሪፒኤስ ጌራቶ ዘላኹምን ካሎት ምሁራት ዘለው ምስ ኤሪፒኤስ ብሓንሳብ ተሓባቢርና ንትስርዓት ከመይገርና ና አልዮና ግድን ክትቃተል ይብልካን ግን እንተ አይነት መገድን ንገብር ዲሞክራሲ አው ለውጥ ነምጽ ብድሕሪ ይኸ ንዘሎ በደሆታት በመይ ንሰግሮ ከመይ ከዚ ሐሽ ትራንዚሽን ህሎና ንመጻ እኸ ከመይ ንገብር አብሩዋንዳሲ ሴንተር ሀብ ናይ ኢዱኬሽን ንኽገብሩና አፍሪካ ስቴዲ ሩዋንዳ ዝብል ፕሮግራም አለው ህክምናታት እዚ ሁሉ አፍሪካ ህክምና ሲኖ አባ አውሮፓ ናብ ህንድን ከም ዝኸይድ ስለዝፈልጡ ዴር ቢልዲንግ ሆስፒታልስ ዲ ሃቭ ዘ ቢገስት ዩኒቨርሲቲ ሳብ ብዙሓት ካብ አፍሪካ እንዳመጡ ዝማሃሩሉ ስለዚህ ሩዋንዳ ሞኻ አዝገር መኩም ከአቲ ዘገር ምኒ ኤርትራው መቸ ማብዝኸድ ካይን ዲጽንሃካ ቢዝነስ ዑውታት ኤርፖርት ዓቤት ኤርፖርት አሎ ወስራህ ሐድሽ ኤርፖርት ሰርሑሉ አቡ ነቲ ኤሌክትሪካል ሲስተም ነቲ ላንዲንግ ሲስተም ምን ይዝገብሮ ታይልካ ኤርትራዊ አቤት አፓርትመንታት ሃይ ክላስ አፓርትመንታት ገዛውት ይገለ ኤርትራዊ አብቲ ንግዲ ሲምባ ዝባሃል አሎ ከምዚ ናይ ዘዓዱ ወልማርት ወይ ከአገለ ኢልና ንጹ አቤት ሲምባ አብ 667 ብራንች አሎ አብ ኪጋሊ ዳዓቤ ሱፐር ማርኬት ኤንድ ኦነር ኢዝ ኤትሪያ ሉክ ኤቭሪዌር ጎ ኢን አብ ኪጋሊ ትዝ ወሐደ ኤርትራዊ ይኻዘል እዚ ነፍስ ወከፍ በዓል ጸጋ እዚ ነፍስ ወከፍ ምሁር ናይ በሐቅ ከምዚ ጌርና ኮላቦሬት ጌርና ሐንሰራህ ተኺልና አም ቴሊንግ ዩ አወር ፊውቸር ኢዝ ብራይት ቴንክ ዩ ፎር ሊስኒንግ አጎርሺያ ባተር ናይ ነፍሲ ኢት እግሪ ስክራፕ ካብሺያ ባተር ኮኮናት ባተር አቮካዶ አረ ማዓርን ቫይታሚንስን ሁሩድ ተሰርሐ ናይ ተፈጥሮ ኦርጋኒክ ስክራፕ ዩ አብሰሙ ካብ ክልተ ክሳብ ሰለሰ ግዜ ክንጥቀመሉ ንኽእል ጥቅምታት አጎርሺያ ባተር ስክራፕ ንዘደረቀ ቆርበት ንዝጸለመ ቦታታት አካላትና እንፍሩር ተለና ንተጎሮን ዘሐፈፈ አካልና ይጽሪ አግባብ አጥቃኡሙ ንቆርበትና አፍኩስ አቢልና እንደርዞ ነቲ ዘይድ ንኽፋል ካብ ቆርበትና አልዩ መናፊት ቆርበትና ይኸፍቶ ወላላ ህዝብል አካላ ድማ ይህልወና አጎርሺያ ባተር ስክራፕ ዋው ዋው አይሱ ሉን ዲጋ አበዳ አሎ አወት ዉ አውሳም አውሳም አመጨረሻ ክን ዛረ ወይና ሕጂ ግን እንደና ነዝነ ገርዚ ብሎይና ክን ክንደግሞይና ሕጂ ግን ሐውና ዶክተር ሀብተ አብን ሐውና አማሃን መጽኦም ዛዓባ ጽሙ ጾሚቆሞ እዚ ሙሉ ተዛረብናሎ ማዓቲ ጾሚቆም በሕጥር ዝበለ መገዲ ክነግሩና ይሞሞ ድህሪው ኻ እቲ ናይ ናይ ድራርን ናይ ኔትወርኪንግ ፕሮግራም አለና ድህሪው ማለት ነው። Thank you everyone. ሞዳ ታዩ አጀኹም ነውህ ማልቲዩ ብዙህ ሰሪሕኩም This is your suggestions, your recommendations that we're going to read back to you. 
Uh, by the way, where's Yosef? Uh, Amaha and Yosef have been working hard throughout the day compiling the suggestions and recommendations that you have written. And this we consider is the resolution of our meeting today. Obviously, we need to refine the repetitions. There are a lot of repetitions and this is done in a, a crash uh, type of setting. So bear with us for some of the uh, repetitions, but we will just summarize the ones that have been repeatedly raised. China. I will read the first one and then Yosef will read the second one and the last two will be read by Amaha. So the first roundtable discussion that we had says, what are the most likely challenges, opportunities and potential solutions for Eritreans in post PFDJ Eritrea? So the summary points we got from this uh, audiences or from this uh, participants, uh, number one, there is an economy that has been collapsed. There is financial instability in Eritrea. There is poverty and high unemployment and lack of effective and efficient institutions with democratic and uh, professional culture, including checks and balances that are ready to implement uh, social, economic, and political change. So we have to prepare for this is what the message is, as you can tell. And the opportunities that we have, sorry. Uh, we have relatively small size of the country with proportionally adequate natural resource, I guess, strategic location of the country and potential for being a hub for investment in the region and having different political institutions is also an opportunity because differences are helpful sometimes. And the pool of highly trained and professional workforce in the diaspora is one of our opportunities uh, that the um, participants identified. The solutions they recommend are Conducting national reconciliation and dialogue of all parties, including political parties and civic societies to solve differences and divisions. Preparing roadmaps and policy documents for each sector of the economy and using the Eritrean constitution as a starting point for democratic transformation. And attracting skilled Eritreans from all walks of life to contribute towards economic recovery and utilizing our resources efficiently and creating mental health assistance system and develop leadership skills across all sectors of society. Those are the recommendations for the first round table discussion we had. And Yosef will give us a second. Thank you. Uh... So we consolidated the, all the responses, the feedbacks, comments from uh, all of you on topic number two. The topic of discussion was what should be the roles and the responsibilities of Eritrean intellectuals in contributing towards the current efforts for political change. So uh, I have more than four or five pages, but uh, we're gonna highlight or summarize the key points maybe about seven or eight of them. So number one is to educate and empower the Eritrean public. Number two, Eritrean intellectuals can facilitate to hold a national conference abroad to form a united front among all political parties and the civic societies. Eritrean National Congress, ENC, is a good example. Number three, there is a lack of Eritrean intellectuals participation in the political movement for change. The Eritrean scholars, professionals should be on the front to lead and to become a role model for the rest of the Eritrean community. Number four, lead through ideology, identify and encourage individuals 
whose main priority is the citizens of Eritrea. Number five, build trust between professionals and non-professionals. The Eritrean intellectuals and the prof professionals should show the general public that they are part of their cause, struggle, and engage with them in every level to earn their trust. Uh, number six, uh, mentorship. Mentorship by means of creating network and opportunities. Number seven, research on the past experience on the same course, including the experience of the political movement globally. And the last one is Eritrean intellectuals can play a big role in the reconstruction of the country by facilitating economic form with, with business leaders, investors, economists, and other expertise in different areas. Thank you. Hi everyone, uh, so I'll just go to question number three. And as Dr. Hattab and Yosef mentioned, these are just summarized uh, comments that we received from the uh, different tables. So question number three is, what contributions can Eritrean intellectuals make in building trust and cohesiveness among Eritrean communities? So some of the suggestions that we received is identifying the root causes of the rifts between groups and seeking each other across diverse seeking each other across diverse lines to find common ground and build bridges. The second one is ensuring diversity and inclusiveness at every level of organizational structure and educating the value of unity in diversity and that leadership means to be responsible, accountable, and transparent. The third one is to build trust and cohesiveness. Intellectuals should serve the people, especially the forget forgotten refugees, immigrants, youth and students, women, and be an advocate for all victims. The fourth one is promote the constitution and national identity as a guiding factor for now and future generations. The fifth one is encourage open communication and develop skills to speak the truth, listen, validate, accept, and respect diverse opinions. And the last one we identified is pray, uh, play the role of a mentor, supporter, leader by nurturing the younger generation in our respective communities, rewarding them and passing them the values. Uh, the fourth question we discussed is, how can Eritrean intellectuals help in ensuring peace, security and stability in the Horn of Africa? Uh, we received a lot of uh, feedbacks on this question, but we didn't have enough time to summarize all of them. So we just tried to uh, write the top or five or six feedbacks that we, that we got. So the first one is form an alliance and collaboration with regional stakeholders such as IGAD and others to ensure peace, security, and stability. The second one is work on effective diplomacy with the SA, EU, secure peace. The third one is conduct vigorous diplomacy to convince that Isaias is the root uh, the root problem or the root cause of instability in the Horn. The fourth one is study and identify source of conflict and devise mechanisms to avoid violence. The fifth one is recognize and acknowledge Eritrea's role in the current predicament in the Horn of Africa. The sixth one is establish organizations that work on conflict resolution and educating the public to refrain from divisive attitudes. And the last one is respecting territorial integrity of other countries around Eritrea. Thank you. Mohiji program na zazim na darga. Haji na imtai masilukum. Ermi ahwatna ahatna tariban. Orset ra hai khuna karim na alkum zala naile. Misah ra hai khuna karim na alkum zala. Haji khazibala ta khadra tariban Allah lo amalatiu. Wow, wow. 
እጅግም ተነመስ ብሎም ነው ሰባት አሉ መጀመሪያ ዶክተር መረብ ካብ አጥሊያን ኮይና ነዚ ሁሉ ማዓልቲ ዝግበር ዘሎ ትዊት ክትገብሩያ እዚ ሁሉ ፒክቸርስ አብዚ ዝግበር ዘሎ ሁሉ ትዊት ተገይሩሎ አብዚ ክሳይ ማለት ነው ከም ትፈልጡ ሶሻል ሚዲያ either it makes you or break you አይሆነ ስለዚህ ሀፍትና ዶክተር መረብ አቡ ኾይና ሙሉ ማዓልቲ ሲገራቶ ንሱ ጥራ አይሆነ እዚ ናይ ኮቫክስ ዶክተር አሴቱ ብሎ እዚ ሁሉ ግዜ ትዊት እንዳገበረት ነዚ ሁሉ ግዜ ተገብረዘ ዶክተር መረብ ያነልና ንብላለና አለሃ ዶክተር ሀብቶምን ዶክተር ሳይመንን አብዚ አይትሪ ወን ማለኩ ንበይኖም ተዓጽዮም ነዚ ሁሉ አብዚ ንጋቦ ዘለና ከመኻ አብዙም ነዚ ሁሉ ሰብ ከጋቦ ወጽኒሆም ማለት ነው ለከ ሐምዝብ ዘለና አቡ ሐሎ ተጋቢዮም ማለት ነው ነዚ አኪቦም ንሁሎም ከአ አብዚም ጡልና ጸኒሆም ሞ ዶክተር ሳይመን ዶክተር አብቶም አብቱ ዘለኹም ሞ እንዳሰርሕዮም ዘሎ እጂ ይገነልና 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 ኮምሃ ኤሪሳት ሐውና ሄኖክ ከይተ ሐለለ ከም ትፈልጡ ወይሁም አነ ሁሉ ሰዓይዙ ብሎ 24 ሰዓት ታሎ አማዓልቱ ሞ ከመይ ገረኔን 20 ሸሞን ሰዓት ነሐውና ሄኖክ ዝኾኖ ይብል ለማዓልቱ ካምሉ ማዓልቱ ከም ዘውዒዱ ለሞ ይገነልና ይገነልና ሐውና ሄኖ ከመሃ ከምቱ ዘዚ ዘና ሐት ብሎ ኔራ አይሆነን ናይ ሆስፒታሊቲ ቲም ሕጂ ሆነ ትንጀሚራ አቀድ ዲማ ሆቴል በመርካብ ሪሁም ወለኩም ዘድል ሆቴል ገለመለታት ቂሮም ቀሪቦም ኩሉ ተዳሌ ሙልኩም ጸኒሖ ማለት አብዚ ኸአ ካብሶሙ ክልተሶሙ ጀሚሮን መግቢ እንታ ይሕሾም ኢላም በቃ ለዓለ ታዓት እንዳበላ ከምዚ ገይሮም አቢሎም ሕጅብ ዘ ሆስፒታሊቲ ቲም አሎ በሐፍትና ሄርሞንን ሐውና ሐውኪን ዝምራህ እዚ እዚ ቲም እዚ ሐፍትና አልጋነሽ ሐፍትና ማና ሐፍትና ዮርዳኖስ ሐፍትና አስመረት ሐውና ገባር ትሊወር ለኹም ለዓለ ታዓት ይግብሉ ዒሉ ማለት ይው ሐፍትና ጸጋ ከመይ ዘአመሰለ ከምት ገራም አንግራሞ በጃኸን አብዘለኹም ወተኺልኩም አብዘለኹም ሐፈሉሞ እነማስክሎ አንላ እንዴላ ሆፈሉ ደሃን ወ ከመሃ ናሎጂስቲክስ ቲም ዘድል ዝሆነ እዚ ናይ ፍላግስ ከይቱ ጣፍ ኢሎም ፍላግስ ካፕቲ ዘሎ ሁሉ ገራም አብሎ ዘድል ሁሉ ነሐለ ካዘ ቢሎም ሐውና መምር ተስፋ ጋብር አብዘሎ መስለኒ ወጤሉ ንሱሃ ከም ገሩ ዝሞር ሆቲ ከም ገራሞ ይገነልና ሕጂ ነዝሁሉ ክግበር ኮሎ ነሐደ ክልተ ወርሒ እዛናይ ወርክሻፕ ኮኦርዲኔተርስ አብዘ ብሉዋ ማለት ነው እቶም ኤግዚኪቲቭ ቲም ሐውና ቶማስ ሰለሞን ዶክተር ቶማስ ሰለሞን ሐውና ዮናስ ሐፍትና ዶክተር ዮርዳኖስ ለዓለ ታዓት ትብል ነህራ ተምዋ ትሪዋለሁ ማላ ዶክተርላ ወይብ ትገብረናላ አሐው ወይብ ዳግበርና ዳ አቡ ኸንኪ አሐውና ዮሴፍ አስመላሽ አሐውና ተወልደ ሰለ ኮምሃን አይኻ ከምገል ገሮ ማው አሐው ሰው ምን ማለት ይው ለዝግለተ ሰው ምን ካፍሳይ ከልተ ወርሒ ከቢዖም ሰሪሖም ከንዘዑት ገሮ ምን አሞ ይገነልና 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 እንብላለና ኦዋ 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 ነዚ ሁሉ ራ ትግበር ኮሎ ሲ እቲ ገንዘብ ዳኸበይ ምጽዩ ዱቢሉ ብላዕል ማለት ነዚ ኻ ፋንድ ሬዚንግ ቲም ተገሮም ተዓጢቆም በቃ ካብቲ ዶ ካብ ላዕሊ ዶ ካብ ታሕቲ ዶ ካብ ዌስት ኮስት ዶ ካብ ኢስት ኮስት እንዳወሉ ነዚ ሁሉ ኾኹብ ጸኒሖም ናይ ፋንድ ሬዚንግ ቲም አላ አብዚ ኩሉ ነዚ አውት ክትገብሮ ዝሐለት ሞ አብታ ናይ ፋንድ ሬዚንግ ቲም ዘተካፈልኩም ይገነልና ንብለኩም አለና ሞሃ ንዑን ክግበር ሰፖርት ዝገብሩ ኔሮም ኤክስፖ ዎርክሻፕ ግሩፕ ዘባሃሉ ንሳቶም ከአ ዘድል ነገር ኩሉ ክተሓባባሉ ኔሮም ሞ ንዑም ከአ ይገነልና ንብላለና ሞ ሕጂ እዞ ማሕዋትና ነዚና ጂ13 ከምዚ ገሮም ውቅብ ዝኾነ በጣም ግሩም ዝኾነ ፕሮግራም ዘፈሉ 
ነየታትና ነቦታትና ከምድ ገሮ አፍሉጦ ዘሐውልና ዶክተር ደሳለኝን ዶክተር ተሁልንካ ይቀነልና ስለተጎበርኩም እጂ ኮሙ ሐውና ዮሴፍን አማሃን እዚ ሁሉ ሰባብ ድንዳ ተጋበ ሆሎ እዚ ዝግበር ዝነበረ ሁሉ ፊድባክ እንዳ ጾመኩ ናብዚ ክብር ከጊዜ ከይን ወሲዲሎም ንሁሉ ጾም ይቆም ጸኒሆም ምስሐውና ዶክተር ሀብታብ ካሪሁሞ ዶክተር ሀብታብ ካ ዋና ዳስ ኮይኑ ለዓሊ ታሕት እንዳበለ ንሰስሆም ይቀነልና ስለዚህ አመጨረሻ ዮናስ ዝበሎ ካመጠን ዘገርም ቴስትሞኒ አይሆንን እንደ ሐቀይ ግን ዝገርመኩም ሐውና ዮናስ ትማሊ አብዚና ምሲና ማለት እዚ ፍሳይ እዚ ሁሉ ነገር ነው ምግባር ማለት ለዓሊ ታሕት ሁሉ እንደው ክነግረን ሆሎ ልበይ ይዘልል ነው እቲ አብሩዋንዳ ተገብረ ዘሎ ሕጅዝ ግበር ዘሎ ማዕባለ አብ ኤርትራክ ግበር ዝገርመኩም ያንተ ወይልና አቲና ኢና ንብላለና ኤርትራክ ተሽን እስራን ሐደ ንብላለና አይሆንን ነው ዶክተር ፕሮፌሰር አራያ ሕጅኻ አታፍት ሐዊትን ዲሞክራሲያዊትን ቁዋሚት ቁዋሚት ብልጽግትን ኤርትራ ልክ አብጫ ፊና ቀሪብና ዘለና ስለዚህ አውና እሳስ እንታይሉ ሐሊመ ሀገሬይ አይኮነ نحنا خانتاين بلا لنا مشلكم ترعين الله هاغري ترعين الله هاغري بفتح الدانه قواماويت ديموكراسياويت بلصقتي دقات كبنبر دقا زيت زرو ايرترا ايزيا ايرترا زيا ترعين الله ترعين الله ترعيكم الله ነዚህ ኤሪፒስ ነዚህ ኤሪፒስ ከምዚህ ቢውጣሎ እዚ ሁሉ ፍጣት ተሞክሮ ሒዙ አብዝ ሆነ ኩርናዓት ዓለም አለውና ኤሪፒስ መንበር አብ አውስትራሊያ አብ ሳውዝ አፍሪካ ዝገርመኩም ሲ ቅድም ክልተ መዓልት ሲ መጀመ ናይ ሐዲሽ አቢና ንዙጋ ሐሳስ ልጃሐወይ ና ኤሪፒስ ከምዚህ ሰሚዓሞ ከመ ገይረ ሆኒ ጥው አቢል ካፕታ ና ኤሪፒስ አውር ጋቲካ መንበር ኩኒልና አብዚ ከጋባ አምሲዩ ስለዚህ አብ ኩሉ ኩርናዓት ዓለም ኤሪፒስ ኮይኖም ምስ ህዝብና ኮይና ሀገርና ህዝብና ፍትሂ ዲሞክራሲያዊ ቋማዊ ፍትሃ ከነው ሐሳይና አብ ሐጢር ግዜ ኩኸውኒው ስለዚህ እንታ ኩኸውና ማኸን ወፍሪዝ ሆነት ገማግም ባህሪ ና ኤርትራ ና ሁሉ ዓለም ባህሪ ዝሆነላ እዚያ ኤርትራ ያዚያ እዚያ ኤርትራ ናትኩም እዚያ ኤርትራ ናቴ እዚያ ኤርትራ ና ይኹላና አብ ሐጢር ግለስ ነው ነው ሐሳ እንኳን እንኳን ሐጎሰና ንብላለና እንኳን ሐጎሰና ና ጀሚና እንደገና ንድምዱሞ ዘለናኻ እንኳን ሐጎሰና ንብላለሁ ይቀነልና ይቀነልና ክብረት ሀበልና ሐጂኻ ሐጂኻ ሐዋት ድራክ ግዜ ሁሉናዩ ናይም ፍላት ግዜ ናይ ኔትወርኪንግ ሁሉናዩ እት ስራ እት ዚያራ ስራ ሐጂ ዝጅመር ድራር እንዳበላና ኔትወርክ ንገብሪና ትንትልሚና ሐሳባት ትንትልሚና አብ ሐጪር ግዜኻ አብ ታቆማ ጥርጫቲናኻ አቡ ሻሂን ቡኑ ክንሰቲና አሞ እዚ ወደ አንኩ እቡ ምሻት
سلام 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 اندغنا كما حذركم دحان دحذركم انقوا عبد حان مصانا انقوا عبد حان مصاخم غزيخم سويخم تكاب كورناتنا عالم ز مصاخم اموها بز زولو ناي كوفيد شجر نسو خيبلكم منم ناي تعنا ناي هوتن گداين الله نسو سويخم نابز سلاز مصاخم مسغانانان ادنا غونتنان نغربلكم يقنيلنا كبرت هابلنا حجها تي بروغرامنا خنجمرينا كم تزبلنا يو بروغرامنا ساعات شعاتن مجماري نيرو غنا غاطا ميسب دخامالو نغشالو قرب تيلون غينا لنا سلازي بسخال متقن بساعاتنا خنودا الو نخيل قرب تي تهدفيلو اغن بساعاتنا خنودا خنفتنينا ات اجندا كله تغيرولو سلازي بزعبا بشم اير بيس انكو على حن مصاخم حجها حونا محمد ادريس ون بعربيا انكو على حن مصاخم كلنا ناي السلام عليكم ورحمه الله اسمي محمد صالح مجاوراي ونيابه عن معهد الدراسات والبحوث الاستراتيجيه اريد ان ارحب بكم وبكل المشاهدين معنا اونلاين او على الزوم على هذا اللقاء ونشكركم على حضوركم ومشاركتكم ونتمنى ان يكون لنا يوم يوم جميل ويوم منتج طبعا المؤسسه او معهد البحوث الاستراتيجيه هي مؤسسه بحثيه من الدكاتره والخبراء الاريتريين الذين يحاولون ان يساهموا بطريقتهم في رفع المعاناه قوينهم تاميرهم كل قرنات عالم ابزخونا كل عالم الله اليوم اب كاب يوروب جميركا كساب استراليا كساب افريقيا ابز تفال على بوتا قوينهم اندازت تيو بزوم اندا تراخبو ابز بصيحهم الله سلازي اذا معلت زيا تاريخاويت معلت يا نتقال سخاء مقيرو نطبي تفطر زبل ملو امنت علنا مو انكو حغوسنا نبل علنا حجها نت بروغرامنا قدم مجمارنا بذكر سماعتات تنجمرينا احوات ولادنا حاف نبل نخبري سماعتاتنا عرفتي حجها قدام اي كفال نايتي بروغرامنا ناي اريبيس اريبيس مالت تقال مصنعتي اتراونان نيبوليسين نستراتيجين ناي اريبيس بريزيدنت حونا توماس سولومون دكتور توماس سولومون متيو ناي مخفتي قال قس معنايو سلازي حونا توماس سولومون نام مدرخ قدموي حونا توماس سولومون Good morning members of the Eritrean justice seeking community members and organizers of REPS and dear participants of this workshop. On behalf of the Eritrean Research Institute for Policy and Strategy, I would like to thank you for coming to the Eritrean Scholars and Professionals Workshop 2021 and for bringing your exper expertise and experience to engage in such a fruitful, constructive and open discussions. It is my pleasure to announce that the organizers of this workshop have left no stone unturned 
to make today's event a success. And I sincerely hope that you will find it worth your time. Talking about time, the theme of this workshop is time is of the essence. Now, I wonder how many of you have deeply thought about this theme. I'm sure many of you are thinking about the urgency of the situation in our country and in our region and how we can move fast to bring the kind of change our people are looking for. If that is how you are interpreting it, I agree with you 100%. But there is also another relevance of this theme to what we are doing here today. As you all know, time is the most precious gift that someone can give you. As such, the fact that you have taken your precious time to come to this workshop, to answer some of the most difficult questions is a testimony for your continued readiness to fulfill your timely <clears throat> obligations. That is why I want to thank you again for your presence. Just to give you a brief introduction about REPS and why we are organizing this workshop, I would like to say a few words. The Eritrean Institute for Policy and Strategy, REPS, is a research organization aiming to address limited public information and dialogue around issues that matter for the future well-being and democratic health of Eritrea and its people. By engaging members of the Eritrean diaspora in comprehensive and in-depth discourse regarding complex and intricate issues, we hope to de develop a strong foundation of inform informed advocates and establish the groundwork for ongoing essential research to shape cohesive policies and strategies that will inspire peace and stability in Eritrea and the Horn of Africa. We are organized based on our specific fields of expertise and our goal is to provide research-based knowledge and information that could guide and serve peace-loving Eritreans and our partners in making informed decisions. The goals of the REPS are, one, to bring all Eritrean scholars and professionals of different backgrounds together, build a platform where they can research critical topics like what we are trying to do today. Three, provide leadership, guidance, and direction for Eritreans. Four, develop policies and strategies relevant in advancing the causes of justice, equality, liberty, prosperity, and regional peace and stability. Our primary objectives are, one, contributing towards the current efforts of political change in Eritrea, two, making necessary preparations for reconstruction and socioeconomic development in our country. Currently, REPS has close to 200 members who are organized in 10 focus groups based on their expertise and choice. The 10 focus groups are, one, agriculture, natural resources, and fisheries. Two, culture, history, literature, and humanities. Three, 
business, economics, and finance, four, education and training, five, emergency preparedness and response, six, health and social services, seven, low public safety and security, eight, media advocacy and awareness, nine, political science, government and public administration, and number 10, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Our approach. We believe in the power of making informed decisions based on research, evidence, and multiple perspectives. We are committed to providing high quality and data-driven research and analysis, encompassing major aspects of our social, political, and economic factors, and within the context of existing and anticipated challenges, opportunities, and priorities of democratic governance. We seek to provide a good understanding of the current situation in Eritrea and, uh, and its neighbors, shape cohesive policies and strategies and inspire peace and stability in the Horn of Africa. We pride ourselves on the depth of our research and the actionable insights we provide so that the people we support will make well-informed decisions. Today's workshop is indisputably another pathway to achieve our common objectives of bringing political and socioeconomic change in Eritrea. I have no doubt that your knowledge, ideas, and profound wisdom will take us a step forward in positively shaping the future of our nation. It is only when we come forward, join forces, and apply our collective intellect and forward-looking visions that we can hope to bring a swift change and fulfill the great responsibility which we hold to our people and our nation. Your presence at this workshop today is already felt. And I am once again reminded that a just and prosperous Eritrea is on the horizon. I hope you are vividly reminded as I am. As a closing remark, I want to thank all my colleagues who have done a superb job in making this workshop happen. You have also made this experience truly special. Thank you all very much. And I wish you all a very successful event. Thank you. The keynote speak is in English. I just want to say a couple of words in Tigrinya. So now I am going to present a 10 point uh, discussion points. And then I select three out of them for more detailed uh, discussion. My 10 points are the following. First of all, I offer my congratulations, heartfelt congratulations to the ERIPS leadership for working hard to arrive at today's workshop. Secondly, I would say there is a need, there is needed, a needed, um, there is a need rather for ERIPS to reassess its priorities in the face of the challenges facing us. Third, as a research institute for policy and strategy, ERIPS must elevate its narrative 
toward a more engaging and unifying dialogue. Fourth, Eritrea is facing a real moment of existential threat, a moment where we must forcefully affirm and assert our country's sovereign statehood. Such affirmation and assertion must be the number one organizing agenda right now. Five, our divided communities need a political maturity and cooperation for the sake of the common good. Six, we need political elites with the depth of knowledge and strength of character demanded by the moment. A selfless elite that can speak for the aspirations of the Eritrean people. Seven, the recent unification meeting of the promising campaign of Yakul is encouraging. Other different communities, be they political or civic entities, need to attain similar unity and become part of the solution instead of the continuing disunity. Eight, the Eritrean constitution was ratified 25 years ago by a constituent, constituent assembly of the people. Having been suppressed by an unelected dictator, it remains unimplemented. Despite the limitations it might have, pending its review, and if need be, its amendment, the constitution can and must be I must act as a symbol of our national unity and progress. Nine, Arabs can, can and should encourage this kind of initiative to bring Eritreans to a common table. As the organization of Eritrean professionals, Arabs can and should take novel steps and initiatives encouraging its members to carry the message of unity and cooperation. And 10, finally, the various committees of Arabs, as well as individual members, should utilize their individual expertise to encourage and help mobilize other members of their respective professionals. I will end by expressing my heartfelt best wishes in the important national role we have undertaken. Aganna. And the Baruchu Azam Dakai. Now I will come to consider three of the uh, points I just mentioned. I will begin the first. I'll begin with the first and I will re read it. <clears throat> it says, Congratulations to Arabs leadership for working hard to arrive at this meeting. What are the purposes of professionals? and research uh, professionals. Well, the constitution of Arab says, research institute for policy and strategy. I'm sure members of Arabs have spent hours discussing what means policy means and what strategy means. I don't need to go into that. It's, un it's, it's well understood, but I would like to say that in return professionals, you have 200 members, but I'm quite sure they'll be in the thousands. By this time next year, I'm quite sure there'll be thousand members, highly educated professionals who will be the pride of the nation. They will be the anchor of development. They will be the basis for fruitful discussions in the coming years. As the speech of your chairman indicated, I have no doubt that you will accomplish your purposes brilliantly. Um, I am not new to the idea of an institute for policy. I was a member of a renowned uh, Washington Institute called the IPS, the Institute for Policy Studies, pioneered by two brilliant intellectuals. Uh, both of them now have met their major, maker, Mark Raskin and uh, Richard Barnett. Mark Raskin is now represented by his son, Jamie Raskin, 
who is a representative from Maryland, a member of Congress, a brilliant intellectual lawyer and a very promising a professional. I knew Jamie when he was 30 or 14 in his, in his father's house. Mark, his father, was a Renaissance man. He was a man of literature, philosophy, and law. He was also a brilliant player of the, of, of the piano at a professional level. One day, when the Ethiopians uh, threw bombs, cast the bombs on some of our people in Eritrea, I was in a state of depression. And I told Mark about this. And he expressed his uh, solidarity and told me, let me go out and have, have a beer. So we went, we had, went and have a beer and went to his house. And he said, I want to bring smile to your face. And he played a piece from Mozart brilliantly. He did bring smile to my face. He was a friend, a professional, who was actually a supporter of Eritrea. These are people who actually showed examples of what professionals can do in, in, in Washington. They had been members of the kitchen cabinet of President John, uh, John Kennedy. And because they disagreed on the Vietnam policy of the United States, they, they both resigned and established the Institute, the IPS. And they asked me to be um, an associate member of which I was for a number of years. Now, so I am familiar with what an institute like yours can do to advance policy on, uh, <clears throat> rather, advance research on policy and strategy. I don't, again, I don't have to, to go into defining what strategy and policy means, but I do want to emphasize that there is a heavy responsibility waiting for Eritrean professionals. I think I ask you to remember the lost generations of Eritrea. Those of them who were forced to leave their, their beloved nation, these are the Sawa generation. Thousands, hundreds of thousands of them. Not so lucky as, as the professionals that you are. Not so lucky. They didn't even high school, finish high school, let alone college. Thousands of them are in Europe and in the United States. Many of them actually now pitifully begging for bread, daily bread. In, in, in train stations and bus stations throughout Europe. I'm sure some of you have experienced this, their presence. These are the lost generation that must not be forgotten. Yes. We, we, we have to remember them. We have to find policies and strategies of helping them. When, when the time comes for Ethiopia to be free from the current, the current dictatorship, my hope and aspiration is to, to have these young people back to, to Eritrea, to be given appropriate jobs. I also expect Eritreans who are now doing business outside will come and invest their business in their country to provide jobs for people like that. So we have a lot to do. Now that's so much for the first. The second point I want to emphasize is Eritrea is facing, facing a real moment of existential threat, a moment when we must forcefully affirm and assert our country's sovereign statehood. Such affirmation and assertion must be the number one organizing agenda. Why do I feel that we are facing uh, existential threat? This comes to my mind when Isaias went to Addis Ababa and declared Aikasernan, Aitaf Annan, and then told the Ethiopians. There is no such thing as a free Eritrea or Ethiopia. We are one people. Thereby, thereby actually putting Eritrea on the table for sale. Well, Eritrea is not for sale. That ain't going to happen. And that is the beginning of my uh, consciousness and thinking of the idea of an existential threat. It's not gone yet. We still have other, other existential threats in, the, in different forms. We have to be prepared for them. Um, Eritrea is a sovereign state brought about by the blood and sweat of martyrs and the tears of mothers and sisters. That sovereign nation will be forever. It will not be compromised under any circumstances, but we have to affirm it and we have to do everything we can to realize, to, 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 to prevent its dissolution or its change. 
finally, I come to number 10 and I read it again. Finally, the various, sorry, uh, the Eritrean constitution was ratified 24 years, 24 years ago by a constituent assembly of the people. Having been suppressed by a dictator, it remains unimplemented. And I, I say, despite some of the limitations, limitations it might have, pending, pending its re revision, review rather, and if necessary, uh, amendment, we have and should take it as a national symbol of unity. Uh, many people criticize some of the weaknesses, but that's the point, not the point. I am not talking now of the details on the law. I'm talking about political symbolism of our national constitution. We have a free nation, an independent nation, a sovereign nation, and that nation has a constitution that has yet to be implemented. That is a very important mobilizing force that yes. I would like to emphasize. I think I have finished my, my keynote address. Uh, I have made my points precise, concise, concisely as possible because time is of the essence to repeat the theme of the conference. Um, we have no time to lose, to lose as professionals and as citizens, citizens with different uh, opportunities to advance knowledge and policy. We have to remember that our technical professional expertise has or should have a moral and philosophical, found, philosophical foundation. And that moral objective foundation is the advance of public policy, the public good. We are not there neutrals. We can't be neutrals. We have to have a purpose in life. Uh, and that is my last word. Thank you again. Congratulations. Uh, Selezi Natom Nufalta, Buzohat, Ab Erisat, Ab Ut Satif, Ab the Dumbak Atsi, Dumban Fithi, Bistafala Le Medai, Tikafel, Haftana. Haftana Sabahidane, Doctor Sabahidane, PhD, Cap George Mason for Conflict Analysis and Research Resolution, Ab Ugera, Ab Kiltation Isran, Kamuha. Master's degree, Cab University of California, Los Angeles, in African area studies and, and political science emphasis. Gera, common, Halai Master's degree, Ha, Cab, Halai University, Gera, University of San Diego, Manatee, in peace and justice studies, Gera. Etinata, research, Ha, Amenta is of Okwase, Ha. A peace and conflict resolution with mediation and restorative justice. Selezi, Guzehe Wasatku, Dr. Saba, Dumai, Bizumiat Rahavan Nazala, Dr. Saba, Deriuha, Nizet Exehluanai, Hantinagar Kanumlan Nidali, Tom Muratnan Sabmoyat Komoto Holo, Mrs. Bena Zetangabur, Ilam Mats on the low. Selezi, Izaha. Butami, Butami, Hanamas Bum Nidali, Nivena. So as he, at Inna, the Doctor Saba, Sabena La Maletu, Yanena, Doctor Saba. Agurna Egrimas, Cab Erre, Lavander, Shea Butter, Tesser Hakonu, Nizir Hit, Niz Harpepin, Nizinagan, Niz Genu Ogren, Mufwasit Omena. Ab Hantabaco, Shuat Habalo. أبسمون حدا جزين ناجبركا نشوعات السمونات تتكملو ولا ون زخونة تجمع أبجرنا تزيها لونا كنت كملو يجبا مغنياتو بزي زخونة جدات نقربة أجرنا سلزي حدس أجرنا أجرماس Good morning everyone.
first of all, I would like to apologize for not being able to come in person because of uh, other uh, prior engagement and uh, busy schedule here. I am uh, attending here through uh, Zoom from Los Angeles, and it's, it's an honor and uh, wonderful to be here and to be uh, sharing uh, what I was uh, assigned to present today. It's actually a, a daunting task to come after uh, such a huge uh, uh, scholar and a fatherly figure, uh, Dr. Barakat Haile Selassie, but I'll try. I'll try to uh, uh, go after him uh, and then uh, speak uh, what I have for you today. Um, and first of all, let me also congratulate the Eritrean Institute for Policy and Strategy and the organizers and the colleagues that have worked so hard to make this a reality and for us to be here together and share our experiences in our uh, understanding and uh, solutions and find out solutions to our problems uh, that we're facing as a nation, as a, as a people. So the topic I was given to present today for the workshop is what are the most likely challenges, opportunities, Eritreans face in post PFDJ Eritrea. For any problem, I think it is important to do the proper analysis or diagnosis. What we have, we as Eritrean scholars and professionals need to do is identify the problems we have in Eritrea and propose solutions to the problems we identify or recommend uh, solutions to those problems that we identified. I'll try to do just that within the topic I'm assigned for today's presentation. What are uh, the most likely challenges in Eritrea that we anticipate to face in post PFDJ Eritrea? And what are the opportunities that we also uh, see in, in the post PFDJ Eritrea? And of course, and what possible solutions uh, do we uh, have to tackle those challenges and utilize our human resources to prepare for orderly and peaceful transition to accountable government in Eritrea. First, the problem we face as a nation is systemic. So that which is the failed political system or leadership that came to power within the birth of the nation in 1991 and changed its name 1994 to uh, Peoples for Democracy and Justice, which is absolutely uh, ironic uh, <laughs> to have that name and then to do exactly what they are doing uh, for the last 30 years. The root of the problem we have in Eritrea, as I uh, said, is systemic. And so we need systemic uh, solutions for that systemic problem, which is the autocratic political system that has suffocated the entire aspects of the nation from political, social, cultural, economic, national safety and security, uh, health, education, climate crisis, protection and care of citizens, name it. In short, the Eritrean government has failed the Eritrean people in all aspects of their lives. Now, if we identify the problem, then let us move on to the challenges these problems uh, poses to the people in the aftermath of the PFDJ regime. I know uh, there is no consensus on the priorities of our challenges. However, I argue that our number one priority at the moment should be the root cause of all the problems we might list as different interest groups in the multinational Eritrean society. The priority should be focused in tackling the root cause of most if not all of our challenges in Eritrea, which is the authoritarian system that has caused our people unspeakable pain, suffering, and gross human rights violation. The authoritarian regime has ripped the entire population, the sense of agency, into submitting to a daily uh, misery and ration of food and supplies to meager survival. Let me mention a few of the challenges that we face as a nation. Sorry. Uh, the challenges we face as a nation include as a components of a failed state. We, we can start with the interruption of the nation building that has uh, 
began in 1991 and interrupted in 1997 because we soon after were engaged in a, a, a big uh, conflict with Ethiopia again. And the democratic culture, the, uh, the interruption or the lack there of a democratic culture since the, the birth of the nation in 1991 and having no social contract between the Eritrean government and the Eritrean people. One such contract is the constitution. We do, we do have a constitution uh, as Professor uh, Barakat mentioned, with its own limitations. We had a constitution that was ratified in 97, but that was shelved away ever since. And we also have another challenge, succession, a succession problem, that who is gonna take over after you know, the regime crumbles, which is gonna happen uh, by nature or by force. Uh, so what's gonna happen after that? And I think that's a, a challenge or a question that everybody is uh, dealing with. And then that's by design. The regime has designed that exactly so that we will have to worry about that and kind of uh, uh, extend the life span of the regime uh, through different uh, divisions within the uh, Eritrean uh, community. And militarized society is another challenge that through the national service, we better uh, actually properly call it this uh, slavery uh, that, that started in 1994, that youth have been taken away from their homes and they're subjected to uh, an in, endless uh, military or national service and lack of independent media and the civil society organizations that uh, uh, at, uh, Mr. Pedro's uh, uh, Tesfa Gergesh was telling us that the Eritrean government has dissolved all civil society organizations or mass association for that matter, right after independence. And so that's by design again, to uh, keep the society into uh, autocratic or almost totalitarian system. And the predatory uh, security sector and that we have in Eritrea for the last 30 years that needs to be reformed after uh, the end of PFDJ regime. So that's another uh, challenge that we have as a, we have as a society. And lack of social service systems and welfare state. At the moment, Eritreans have, they don't have uh, consistent clean water. They don't have health system. They don't have educational. They don't have name it, anything that you can think of as any uh, basic uh, needs that the government should provide to a society that is absolutely uh, not there in Eritrea. People are barely surviving and people are starving as we speak in Eritrea and outdated infrastructure. We probably have seen this pictures uh, after pictures of uh, the, you know, the colonial buildings of Asmara in Masawa. It's just heartbreaking. And that's that's what the, the regime has accomplished for the last 30 years, destroying what existed in the country and not even uh, doing any maintenance or building new ones. So now these are some of the, the, the challenges that I've put out. So if we agree on some of these challenges, I mean, we cannot list all the problems that we have, but if we agree on this, we have to agree also on and the priorities of how do we bring change into uh, Eritrea after uh, the, uh, the regime uh, leaves, uh, whatever uh, way we're gonna have that happen. So let's um, go to um, the opportunities. So I think we, we talked about, uh, I think from the challenges I talked about lack of democratic culture because there's fear, there is oppression, there is a succession problem of lack of institution, interrupted nation building, militarized society, predatory security system, all these things. And then now when we uh, see there is an opportunity for us to nurture democratic cultures, how do we do that? by encouraging civil society organizations, uh, political parties. Of course, this is only possible outside of Eritrea at the moment, but I think we need to organize at this level. We need to uh, organize uh, different interest groups, different uh, focus groups, professional groups like these ERPs and all that. That's very, very critical in the uh, building of democracy and democratic culture in uh, Eritrea in the post-conflict uh, uh, PFDJ. And the, uh, the other is 
also to provide a space to nurture leaders, young leaders, uh, uh, future leaders of Eritrea and identify them and rally behind them and support them, fill the gaps, uh, add value to that. And, you know, so we have to kind of uh, come together in supporting those kind of uh, potential leadership in Eritrea and the future. My apologies, uh, my daughter just stepped in. Um, and then, I'm oh, sorry, let me go back to the screen. And then also the opportunities we have is that we have an opportunity to set up a constitutional and a democratic government. How do we do that? We start now, we start by preparing transitional documents, uh, transitional roadmaps. It could be charters, it could be plans. I know of one that I've collaborated with two of my colleagues. There is another one by uh, Mr. Kubrom Dafla, the economic plan for post, uh, uh, post PFDG Eritrea. There is another one I know from Senate study group. Let's make these things uh, consolidated and merge and make them into a document that could be useful in post-conflict, uh, uh, post-PFDG uh, Eritrea. And also uh, to make sure during this transitional period to have a continuity of social services and administrative services. You know, we have to think of to, to make sure people have something to eat or to, they have access to electricity and water. All these are basics, but they're lacking in Eritrea right now. So we have to think all those things and how we be able to provide those during that critical time of post uh, PFDG Eritrea. And, then, uh, and also creating link uh, within Eritrea. One way of doing that is what Erosat and other media organizations from overseas are doing is to connect, to bridge the, uh, the democratic voices or demo democratic forces, forces who are looking for a change in Eritrea uh, and to create that link. And once that happens, then it will be easy during the, you know, when it happens, when the transition happens, then it will be easy to connect those already established relationships and form uh, some uh, governance or uh, leadership from within and outside. So I think uh, I would like us to think the, uh, the Eritrean justice seeking community is within and outside Eritrea. So, and how do we link that and how we communicate, how do we come together and build that uh, relationship is very critical. And I think media is one way to do that. And there are other ways to do that as well that we might leave it for another time to discuss. Another important discussion or important thing that we need to think about this as an opportunity is accountability. There is a lot of uh, things that are violated in Eritrea, human rights violation, and those needs to be settled in a very uh, orderly and uh, democratic way. So we, we're not going to kind of free for all kind of system. We have to have something ready. Uh, one of the doc, uh, I, I mentioned about the transitional documents that we I collaborated with my colleagues proposes a transitional justice. And then how do we resolve that? Is it persecution, uh, prosecution? Or is it uh, amnesty or all that kind, those kind of discussion? We have to start them now because those are the things that we have to do once the PFDJ is no longer in the picture. And I think it's, uh, I, I believe that is pretty soon. It's not far from where we are now. So we have to think it very seriously and strategically. And the other is, I think we have to create a pressure point for the regime. At this point, I don't see the PFDG being threatened by any move or any actions that we're doing. Of course, all the, the, the things that we are doing adds to adds value to our you know, final uh, goal. But I think that needs to be felt by the regime and the regime must feel the threat that the justice seeking camp or the pro democracy the uh, activist Eritreans who are organized for change had to pose a serious threat. And this could be done different ways. It could be by uh, posing threats it's in its security systems, by posing threats, by showing an alternative leadership that um, 
shows that it is there is Eritrean leadership that is better equipped and better uh, prepared to take over the administration of the Eritrean state and people. Be, uh, in conclusion, I would like to um, give me a second. So in conclusion, our challenges are so many and complex, but within our capacity to turn them into opportunities, the professional and educated Eritreans to take their proper place and lead. The youth to engage and show ambition to lead. The elders to mentor and share experiences, learned experiences gained in the last three decades of struggle for justice and freedom for every person to prepare him or herself for the post PFDJ democratic Eritrea. How? Studying, working, building capital and get ready. And our country needs each one of us to start the reconciliation and rebuilding of the nation that was interrupted right after Eritrean independence. Our problem, in, uh, our problem is a leadership problem and let us present to our people that we have a better leadership that cares to the people of Eritrea and protects the national interest of the people and the country that came through heavy sacrifice. Thank you. Yaranelna, Dr. Saba, Grooms Hona Maglezi, Hejiha, Kamzibernao, Atigziena, Zhadena Slazolo, Nat Altifna Napti, Zhatzel Magreb Kankadina, Kamtizibernao, Muratna, Samoyatna, Miss Hisbena Hoyna, Kanziti Lome Messiam the Low. Silezi, Zaba Tizete, Bremegrena Magadin Horo, Doctor Haptap, Zabu Maglez Havanaimo, Doctor Haptap. Thank you. Thank you and welcome. Uh, as you have seen already on the tables, I have distributed this form that says uh, what are the most likely challenges and opportunities and potential solutions for Eritrea in post PFDJ Eritrea. So the idea is each table will have a certain group of people, could be seven, could be eight, could be 10. Each of you we expect have an idea about what are the challenges and how we should solve them. We should not be afraid of expressing what we feel and how they should be dealt with. Uh, so to formalize this, we suggest from each table, you assign one person as a group leader for that table. And each person gives five recommendations, up to five, it can be three up to five recommendations and each person's ideas will be written. At the end, you all will agree on five points. You will choose the five points that you all agree on. And you write those in this paper from number one to number five. At the end of the round table discussion, that group leader will come here and will read out what their table recommended. And we will collect all those papers at the end of the presentation. And at the end of this uh, workshop, we will summarize all those ideas that were collected from this meeting, and we will uh, explain and uh, present them as our resolution or our recommendation from this workshop to those challenges that Eritrea is facing. Each roundtable discussion is going to be conducted in such a way, and so Let's get used to it. Uh, and in the later in the afternoon, we actually plan to even reshuffle so people can get an idea to exchange ideas with people they have not met. So that's the idea. And uh, we have distributed the notebooks, use them freely. We have enough of them and you can jot down whatever you want or whatever you feel needed. And all ideas that has been written and submitted will be considered. So it's not like just because they did not get it to the presentation that they wouldn't be used. They will be used. We'll try to use every idea that is submitted in this meeting. Thank you. And let's go to our work. Uh, <laughs> Agatatnan and Tai Masil Dehri, Melai is a Sir Atzolo, Bidotatnan, 
ጸጋታትናን እንታ ይመስሉ ስለዚህ ናብዘ ተነምራ እንኳን አብዚ ጥቦ ወደ ወታ ናይመጣት ቦታ ናይሰራሕ ቦታ አብዘር ረሃበና ስፊመይ ኑረዲን አብዱል ቃድር ይባል እሞ ዛተ ወሃበትና ሐላፍነት በእንግሊዝ ደሃገብራ ወላ በትግርኛ በትግርኛ ተበልኩም ትግርኛ ሐጥቅና ሐገብራ ማለት ሁላትና ሐጥግርኛ ስለንዛረብ በትግርኛ ተገወርኳን ጥቦ ይመስለኒ ሐራይ ባል እሞ ታይቲ ቲ ቡድሆታት ደጋጥመና ድህሪ ናይ ህግደፍ ሞዳ ድህሪ ስርዓት አብ ኤርትራ መቂያ ደጓንፈና ወይ ኩጓንፈና ኩጓንፈና ዝኽል ቡድሆታት ስንታ ኢዩ ትብሊያታር እስቲ ንካታ አላ ነበርና ስለዚህ ንሕና ከመሐደ ቀዳሜት ግሩፕ ቢሎብና ለው አሪብና ለና ሐሙሽተ ነጥብ ታቴን ፍጾምቀኔ ሐደ ዚ ኢንስቲትዩሽን ናጻ ኢንስቲትዩሽን ብደይ መህላውና ዘናጻ ኢንስቲትዩሽን ከመዝሕጅ ቆይሙ ዶሎ ናይ ኢሪፒስ ኮሙ ብደይ መህላውና ብዙህ ጸገም ከመጻናዩ ብዙህ ኢዚ ሐደ ካላይ ዩኒቲ ዩኒቲ ያ ህዝብና ስለዚህ ለ ዩኒቲ ህመጽ ተደይ መጪ አቀድም አማል ሐጂ ታይ ሰረህናሉ ጸገም ከጓንፈናይ ሳልሳይ ትራስ ቢልዲን ዚ አብ ህዝብና ባና ከመጣ አማመን በተመራሕትና ሁን በተም ኢንስቲትዩሽን ሁን በቲ ወድባ ዘሎ ሁን ቡኡ ከመዝብተ አማመን ምግባር ንህዝቢ በድሕሪ ዶሎ በዛዓባ ዘናይ ሪሊፍ ቬሪ ኢምፖርታንት ዘናይ ሪሊፍ ዚ ሬዲኤት ንህዝብና very important it is mahniyatu dahri mouda nay disraat tehzbna dro dro tehzbna abshigir idollo dwol oud setyo taybudu haji nay bahaqi relief yedliya yu zi taqribna lahu tsan halanna bidhriyu i remember habjallo btsayna weka hawna doctor betros baatay relief dugobro zi nebere qadam ይዝከረኒ በጣዕሚ ብዙህ ተራ ዘኔሮ ነሮ ትሬሊፍ ማለት ይው አብ ሐርነታ ወቃልሲ ንህዝብ ኤርትራ ብዙህ ተራ ሐምዝ ነው ስለዚህ ሬሊፍ ድባሃል ነጻ ሬሊፍ ድባሃል አብዚ ቬሪ ኢምፖርታንት መሃኑ አባ ነብለላ ይግባና ኮሙን ብዛዓባ ጥዕና ናይ ጥዕና ጉዳያት ናይ ካለ ምስትናይ ሬሊፍ ተታሓዘ ይው ኮሙ ኻኒ ናብ ሐደ ሐደ ዓላማ ደብጽሕ ኮማን ጎል ደብጽሕ ሲ ስራሓት ይግበራሎ ሕጅንታ ሕቶ ክጣዓት ነሩ ወያኔ ኤርትራ መጽም ተወረሮናኸ ናይ ወያኔ ድግግ መንግስት ብኤርትራ ተመጽኸ ወይካ እቲ ለውጢ ብኤርትራ ወያን ጥራ ተመጽኸ እዚታ ተዛራሪብና ኩሉ ድኾነ ይኹን ወያን ብዝኾነ ይኹን ስርዓት ናይ ኤርትራ ተራ ተቀይሩ ንሕና ተቀሪብና ጸንሐለና አብዚያ ተሰማሚዕና ሓደ ተቀሪብና እቲ ኢንስቲትዩሽን ዝበሃል ቆይሙ ንዘሎ ጸገማት ናይትራ ክገጥም ተራሊና ጸንሐለና ዝኾነ ለውጥ አብ ኤርታ ምጻ ብድኾነ ብዙ ማለሲ ብድኾነ ምጻ ደኮን ዝኾነ ለውጥ ምስመጸ እቲ ዝመጸ ለውጥ ግን ብድሆለና ተቀሪብና ንጽናሕከም አብ ደገ ዘለና ምሁራት ወይካ ኢንስቲትዩሽን አቆምና ዘለና ዚያናትና ስለዚህ ሰላም ያነልና ያነልና ሐውን ረዲን ብግዚኡ ስለዘወዳካካ ነመስክነካ ክልተ ደቂቅም ፈራቃን ኾይዳን አዎ ያነልና ስለዚህ ምስመጻኹም ክልተ ደቂቅ ከምዝ ብሎኹም እዚያ ሴልፎን አብዚያ ከገብራየሙ ባሪኹ ደሃር ምስወዳኹም ካት ወራኦትኩም ለዶክተር ሀብታ አቢኩም ሞት ወጹ ስለዚህ ታት ታት እጽል ኬብልካ ዶክተር አስቲር ዘለዋ ስለዚህ መጽኹም ናትኩም ክሳየ ብሉ ቅልጥፍ እንዳበልኩም አዎ وا 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 اجي بطعم يوم زقلت فوزو الوقا بطعم نطفات يوم زلونا بجا اجي نسا مسوداوت ازيا بروفيسور انغسوم بروفيسور ار ادب ساي زلوا دحر يوم يكون مالت يوم سخاتكم هو هو تدالو انا نبزل هو الرايشي Come hello home. Come make any home. I'm going to try to do a little tigrinya in English. 
but um, our table was trying to create diversity. So we had uh, the person write in English and, you know, not a person, we had a male person write and, you know, be our note speaker. And then I guess as a female, I was chosen to um, share this uh, note with you. Obviously, one of the first thing that we listed as a major issue is uh, degraded social values. To Bahalina, you know, to city cultural value has been somewhat destroyed. And one of the biggest challenges that we think we need to focus on is how do we rejuvenate that um, that um, that that sense of values that we have in our community. And also the other thing is also um, uh, basically not being able to respect our freedom fighters who who, be, who were able to contribute uh, to our, you know, basically how do we make sure that the people who sacrifice our, our, uh, our independence, how do we ensure that they're respected? Um, the other thing also is uh, weakening national consciousness. This is, how are we, um, I guess I'm breathing too heavily. <laughs> I'm getting too close. I, I'm a little bit excited as well. Um, a little nervous. <laughs> so um, I guess what we're trying to say is how do we, we, uh, we the challenges that we have is a weakening uh, national consciousness and there's definitely a generation gap um, and there's a regional, uh, like, uh, how would you say it? Like. Um, Aurajana, what is it called? Uh, national, um, I guess I should have given been a little bit more time to do this. I, I apologize. But definitely just, just having a regional uh, division among different ethnic groups, uh, not only just faith, but also different clan. Um, there's, there's no sense. We didn't have time to reconcile as a nation. And then the other thing we also said that is that there's no, there's no uh, weaken political legislation in a sense, not having a branch of accountability. Um, we don't have a constitution that holds us accountable. And in addition to that too, we also said something in, in regards to opportunity for experiencing uh, having educational human capital in diaspora. One of the thing is, <laughs> okay, um, solution. The solution, let me just get to the solution. The solution says national reconciliation, um, having a dialogue, and then possibly having a foster community engagement. Reconciliation would be one of the things that we could be able to regain a sense of unity because one of the things that we're lacking as, as Eritrean is that there's a different sense of nationalism. Some people have a different, we have, as a people, we didn't have a chance to really um, commune. We didn't have a chance to really understand what is to be a citizen of Eritrea. You know, so we're hoping that maybe this, one of the things that we need to do in diaspora is to come together and for us to kind of get that sense so that when we go back to Eritrea to help, we don't, we don't, you, we don't overflow our own issues to, to the community that's already there at, at hand. So we, are, we really encourage for national, you know, engagement within our community. And also hopefully when we're back in Eritrea, we don't have these baggages that we carry with us. So thank you so much. Sorry, but if I was a bit. Thank you, thank you Dr. Yerusalem. Hajiha, that must be the table of the table. I'm going to talk to you about the microphone. I'm going to talk to you about the microphone. I'm going to talk to you about the microphone. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we have a heavyweight uh, group here. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed and honored to represent them. What we said is that the challenges that we are facing after the fall of the regime are going, are going to be systemic. So our solution and our approach to solve them has to be also systemic. Um, also how change comes will determine the nature of the solution uh, that we are going. So we have to put scenarios for every type of, of, of change. If, if a CS died naturally is a different than if, you know, a coup come in, if, a, you know, so every scenario should have a different way of uh, solutions. Um, of course, the first order will be, you know, freeing prisoners, demobilization of soldiers, and finding solution for this quarter million uh, army that we have that doesn't really, um, holding them by itself is, is a big issue. So having solution for that is important. Refugee. Uh, returns, uh, you know, 
um, we have a large number of refugees from outside that need to be returned. Um, and, reintegra and reintegrating those uh, prisoners that we released, those refugees that came back to life, it's not that easy to bring you know, a million people inside the country. You have to really um, have thought about it and, and hopefully Arabs can help on these things. Um, and the most important one also that um, is, is that really this, you, we have to bring back this culture of inclusion and real representations. This approach right now the regime has where uh, he, co he uh, color the picture of Eritrea with just one component or one community of one language that is, should not be acceptable. So we need to bring uh, real representation, not only in dancing and, and songs in the TV, but real power, sharing power, uh, sharing wealth, uh, sharing um, uh, knowledge. Um, also, um, we have to, in this period after the fall of the regime, we have to establish mechanism for uh, real changes that need to be done, you know, uh, by maybe uh, uh, in installing um, commissioners, commission for um, having um, constitution, commission for justice transition, uh, transitional justice, uh, things like that. You know, uh, we have the issue of land. We have many issues, so we have to really address these things through creating a mechanism for maybe commissioner or things like that. Um, and the last thing is we have to learn from our experience, from previous experience and history um, in 1991 and, and previous from that, and also to learn from other nations um, how they went through this transition. We have to learn that. And I think Arabs can, can really do a good job on this. One of the things I always personally, I see Arabs is not to heavy weight on the politics too much, but to bring really scholars study and scholar solutions to the big problem that we have. I think we can, that is the gap that we have right now. And, and I think that will be a good, I think I, I, I passed my two minutes. So thank you. And uh, hopefully we'll have a, a productive meeting. Thank you. My name is Jonas Paraki. Uh, I'm from uh, Maryland. So from our uh, group, we came only for for uh, challenge and for resolutions. Number one, political, ethnic, regional, and uh, religious division among Eritreans. Number two, collapsed economics. Number three, mental health and PTSD uh, problem. Number four, shortage of skilled labor force. So, and then we came up another four solution, possible solution. And for number one, uh, national reconciliation. For number two, for collapsing economic system, attract skilled Eritrean professionals to bring measure overhaul of the economics for mental health and PTS, PTSD uh, problem, create mental health assistance system program throughout the country. Number four, uh, shortage of skilled labor force. Attract skilled professional from all over, from all over the world. That's how we came up, thank you.
Hi, my name is Jacob Leine, and I came from Lawrenceville, Georgia. All right, so for our discussion, we some of the points we came up with comes uh, about uh, unity, how we unify the country. Uh, you know, okay, how uh, you know how like the Tom Naikabasa when I Bahari. Christian way in Islam, uh, you know, how we unify all these people, uh, you know, to work towards the common goal of uh, a smooth transition in the country. Uh, number two was what kind of services or how we provide basic services to the people. So, you know, like Dana, Naimai, Nai, Beturti, stuff like that. Number three is how we address the lack of political accountability. So, you know, Bob Net, uh, uh, PFDJ, you know, Isaias, Halafiu, Geliul, Degafu, you know, uh, they're in charge So as well. So it's how we open it up to the people to allow uh, more parties and then a way to check the people in office for potential abuses uh, of power. Uh, number four is how we have a stable transition. So it says, "What's that? Come in, ah, ah, ma'abal ngabra na adina na eritra." And then number five, this is like opportunities and solutions. You know, um, develop democracy, uh, within government with youth involvement, and the system of checks and balances. So it's basically, uh, you know, it's meant to say, "So what's all and ka etom ah abdias braza tuwaldo." Come come in uh what will we be able to do for Eritrea uh once we get there and also out and that also is dependent upon how we can uh invest in education, uh invest in you know job prospects outside of national service. And then this is also fits in with unity, figure out how we fit into the uh, geopolitics of the region. So Night Way, uh you know, who are they, how we determine who they are, and then how we have it so that way it's not always shifting like it has now. That's it. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah
creating uh, social services and all that stuff uh, that uh, our people have been uh, missing. Um, so to come to the opportunities, uh, number one, we believe that uh, Eritrean potential or the potential of Eritreans uh, has not been destroyed, but it has been displaced. So, and people have been displaced and in the countries that we are in, we have been accumulating um, knowledge. We, a lot of Eritreans are going to schools, uh, accumulating experiences, and a lot of Eritrean businessmen and women have been accumulating walls and also experience international experience in other countries. So once change came to Eritrea, in a short amount of time, this displaced potential of Eritrea can come back to the country and can make a real and lasting uh, change. Um, the other potential that we uh, put in here is, um, so having different political institutions, that's also, we also put that one as a potential here. Um, and the good thing is the, the stuff that is, um, the difference between those uh, political organizations is not uh, deep rooted uh, things. It is something that easily can come, uh, can reconcile them. And uh, in the last uh, few, um, our population is, you know, five to 6 million. So in a short amount of time, we can bring uh, uh, a, a big change uh, can come. The strategic location of the country is also something that we have to see. Um, so the last one, uh, Eritrea can be the hub of investment in the region um, with uh, proper administration. Thank you. Yeah, and then group. Hi, Salamat. I'm Burhan Maskali. I'm Chantilly, Virginia. English is a good English presence Gabriel, my group na proposals. Is it my icon? Okay. 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 Okay institutions that we need to you know, build a structure and also give our people certain rights and responsibilities. And that will hopefully allow us to, uh, to take full advantage of the big human capital that we, that's underutilized both inside and outside of the country. Uh, another big challenge we identified is making sure that there is a smooth transition towards the democracy. When the current uh, regime leaves, there's gonna be a power vacuum that needs to be, that could easily be filled by people who don't have Eritrea's best interests at heart. So ensuring that uh, there is you know, proper steps in place to make sure that this moment is not hijacked by other forces is gonna be very important. It's gonna be essential for the stabilization of the country. Oh, sure, okay. Third is building unity and trust and uh, overcoming existing divisions. We have, uh, big divisions within our country and that have especially become more apparent, especially over the last year. And uh, these political divisions really need to be kind of somehow uh, bridged and we need to establish trust uh, within uh, our people. Uh, fourth uh, thing we identified is the need for you know, reconciliation and dialogue, which is one of the things that uh, we will need to be able to build trust and unity to at least discuss what has happened over the last 30 years and see you know, how we can move forward as a people. Uh, and last, it's uh, diplomacy and foreign policy. Uh, the current regime has, uh, the, most of the foreign policy decisions they've made have not necessarily benefited their Eritrean people. So how do we make sure that we build relationships, alliances that benefit the Eritrean people first and foremost? So those are proposals. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Uh, Gideon Salomon representing the, I believe it's the last group at Mordat has a la group Malatu. Uh, uh, then I uh, discussed Girna, then uh, challenge civil nine. Uh, number one, establishing transitional government. Malat, Nulu, Hakopin, the Satin, Mesagari, Sultan Abhizbi, Karakib, Zahil, Mesagar Mengisim, and Misfat. The Achim Kadamiti challenge in Na Tazarim Nala. Uh, political and military challenges, um, situations that may lead, how to avoid situations that may lead to a civil war. Uh, current PFDJ military members may have their own differences that uh, could lead to fighting. Uh, uh, political and military challenge and international powers influence uh, to create their own puppet governments or leadership. Uh, and this is also another challenge that we see under this uh, second uh, point or second umbrella. The third one is rebuilding infrastructural and institutions. Uh, currently, there is no organizational uh, institutions. Now, the net come educational institutions, school educational institutions, that's the law. Uh, psychological well-being of the people. How do we, you know, uh, uh, make this uh, health-wise and uh, educational-wise? Uh, the last one was economical challenge. Uh, currently, you know, the uh, the party holds everything, and there is no accountability, and there is no audit. Uh, and Nazid Ma Kame Gernan Serom on Atu, the economical well being at the Nahizbi, when I see his well being, Hello Slazikil, we see this as another challenge. As part of the solutions, I think Mazatan Group had mentioned Gerono and, but we talk about national conference and national reconciliations. Hagarau Erken, Hagarau Conference in Gerkan, who loses Satif. The whole civil societies, the whole political parties, and representatives. Okay, on the left. has been the start of war, reconciliation, Mimisrat, the welcome solution, Amitna. Kala as an opportunity, Sir Aniadema, public assets. Loti is the Lee, I wish to have the Gen Mihlao. I wish to currently have the Sir Ad Zeloon, after activity, Sir Ad involved Zekon Zeloon, his be Loti the Liu. Z is as an asset with more as an opportunity in another and I am a little color come as a girl one comes already constitution mehlao as another opportunity in our in our military no but I may implement you better wake up I may take Sarah as well a color catastrophe or to hell as well call it opportunity in a as a solution call either and have means in addition to the national conference the ma comes a jinga was a lena I know today I'm it's not at Armu Zellow, Bamu, can the groups go in at Timur Akal Bogabros, the La Police in Hinsats, we can not forget my Nazal challenge. Rio and Taka Gibberi Kali Lum of Terra Rivuts and Yahoo, the Hertiloti, we can post PFDJ, up implementation Katolus El Mangadi at Safi Funk, Arivun Mismah Zuldema as a solution for Inama let you, Yanele Yanela Hauna, Doctor Gidon. Yaretan and Michara Shalinir, Hunt Group Halatina, so as a half to last month to Matia. I'm Michara Shagrupe Amalet. My name is Asmara Tolda Bahan. Everybody, welcome. But I'm a Dogosan Nilomi. Zi air try out to Slezhone. Slezi, even though Tigrinat Bogera is Zaravinagan, Natom air try on Ahwate, Abotati, a detatic will be Tigrina Fetani Malet. Is in Atatum Slezhone, Absidet Zello, I air trazello, Tesfas Lezhone, Slezi, a tea potential in Tayu, a tea potential Zelena, Buzuh, Tamaharna, Alena, Abuzu, Aditat Alena, Kame Girka, Abhad and Siha, Netat Metzella, Ertra. Can we get a building together? 
ካላአይ ኦፖርቹኒቲ ዘለና አብዚ ዘለው ደቀና ቶሊዶም ዘዓበዩ ከመገና ኢንጌጅ ንገብሮም አቡ ኸይዶም ነቶም ከመአቶም ኦፖርቹኒቲ ዘይረኸቡ አብሳዋ አመታት አጥፊኦም አብስደት ትምህርቲ ጋፕ ዘሎም ንዓታቶም ከመገና ኤጁኬሽናል ካሪኩለም ንገብር ካላአይ እቶም ዲፈረንት ሪፊጂስ አለውና መንጸላዮም መሆኑ ኮንፊውዝ ዝኾኑ ንዓታቶም ሜንታል ሄልዝ ዘብሎም ካብሕጂ ከመገና ኢና ናይ ሜንታል ሄልዝ ንገብር ሪሶርሰስ ከአ ናይ ካሪኩለም resources building relationship nin mis non profit organization hiji sledmets zello kab hiji resources kin gabralna izha ani manninetna ni kullu alam afliqna resources kala khani kemegirna ina tom hiji ab sidet zello mistamalsu we kani ab airtra zello zello eti trust eti mitimman kemegirna ina ni gabro usha ani بمزرره ابتي ارترا زلو حزب نخاني بوزيتيف زخونه تمهرتاو زخونه كبحجي عدل علنا مالتيو سلازي بوتنشال اوبورتونيتي اتي تشالنج كن زخوننا مستملسنا نناتو ايديا نناتو برسبشن نناتو برسبكتيف هيزو تفالالي سيستم سد متص سيستميك زخونه تارجتيد زخونه سوليوشن كبحجي كن زازار كن زارارا علنا مالتيو Uh, most of you na uh, unity tazare kumalakum which is extremely important how do you build unity dialogue together it is person ke kona itnat ka tsalai it is systemic zikhona buzabu tazararibka trust gerka ta amaminka it's okay to have a conflict you should have conflict however it is conflict nemen you target zigeber it is solution ka ana khamegena nemso We need to continue as a discussion. Have abzakhay kona abta adizallo and the hasabna malatiu. Thank you.